So, Paula, it's a real pleasure to speak with you because you have honored me by taking this old, old, old film of mine and putting your own soundtrack on it. What provoked you to do that? I did a, a show for someone, the music for a show, and it's called Hoof. And we searched for some footage of hoof dancers. And any, anyway, say two years ago, I joined the, the, the Pegs. It's a semi-pro band in, in uh, Reading. It's lovely. They're, they're really lovely people. And I said, I said to Sarah, the lead singer in the band, look at this. This will work. You've been a musician for a long time. You are not young, but you're still totally mesmerized by this music. I mean, would you call yourself a professional? What kind of a musician are you over there in Reading, England? Heavy rock is my main thing. I'm a rock guitarist. But I just love all sorts, really. It's a few things I don't like. <laughs> Those harmony singers that go, do I hate that. Oh, it makes me cringe. I know exactly what you're talking about with those cuts. They make me crazy too. But, you know, American mountain music is popular everywhere in the world. You don't have to be a good musician. You have to enjoy playing it. Now, all these lead belly songs have only got two chords in them green corn da, 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 da. two chords that's all you've got and you just work at it uh, rock iron line e rock iron line is a mighty fine line rock iron line is two chords yeah jimmy crack called two chords and that's what they it's just good time music you people have fun over there in reading i think of you as english you know as you can see, I'm not even laughing at that that, that comment. <laughs> no, we, we're terrible. We're all stuck up. We don't. We, no one looks at each other. They, we don't kiss. Don't touch. We're all going. I'm English. I mean, no, because we have a laugh. I'm going to ask you a very strange question, but you and I are old enough to be able to talk about this. When you were a kid, sing for me one of the songs you heard growing up. I mean, you English people, I have no idea what kind of music children heard. Was it like Bach and Brahms? I mean, I have no idea. My parents, they love novelty singles. I don't know what you mean by novelty singers. What's a novelty singer? Give me I'm a blue toothbrush or a green toothbrush. And we've those sort of songs, you know. I had this coming into my head all those years ago. And my sister loved Pat Boone. <laughs> I would call you like mid-career. Are you going to keep on going? I mean, you're going to be 90 and still be doing this? Of course. There is, there is no retirement day, is there, for, for, for the arts? You don't go, oh, I can't listen to anything anymore because I'm too old. I want people to know that I really appreciate Green Corn and the way you did it. And somehow it works with that 57-year-old film that I shot so long ago. Green.
57 year old film still just everyone looks and goes oh that's that it's so lovely i knew that i was doing something special when i did it i didn't know that it was history but i knew that it was real real right. it's always there's a certain depth of reality to that and when you put your music on top of it your music becomes real like those dancers in that little town uh were real when they danced Anyway, I want to thank you for doing this interview with me. Who knows how long this will last, but 100 years from now, when you and I are memory, somebody will see this and know something about you and something about me. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. So you're hearing this wonderful singer. I'd swear she's in a Tennessee club. And some guy with long hair, excellent guitarist, but the people you're about to hear from are Australians. One day in my heart. It's very cold at the moment. It's uh, one degree in our, our beautiful little village here in Glen Lyon where we live. I think you guys met through music how did you get together dave was up in sydney way and i'm down at, at the time a little town called dalesford and i moved a long long way away eight kilometers out the road here to glen Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> took me ages to move <laughs> you guys are australian but the music you're singing i believe has american roots look historically um there's been a lot of country music in australia and we've always really borrowed heavily from, from um, the United States because that's, that's where country music comes from. And we've always sort of adapted it to, to um, uh, you know, we have our own sort of references in the lyrics and yeah, we'd adapt it to make it Australian. Are you ready, Dave? I'm ready. Yeah. And? Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Well, it just makes you feel good. Are you making a living at this or is this a hobby? <laughs> Definitely not making a living. We're both, um, we both um, work in the disability sector. We're both um, support workers um, um, for people with disabilities. Um, that's our, our main gig. Um, music is um, our passion. My baby whispers in my ear. You could probably carry a box of porridge around, couldn't we, and, and live live for about 12 months, I think, if we sold our house. And <laughs> that'd be the end. You, you may never do any other interviews with us again. <laughs> One day in my heart. Where did One Day come from? What, what's the, why did you write that song? In? One day in my heart, and you're, you're just here, you might be passing people in the street or in shops or somewhere and you'll hear different people say things like that, like, like, oh, well, one day, 
and then you I just put it all together from different things that I hear and yeah I understand just what you're saying yep one day I'll do it one day I'll do it I don't live that way one day yeah no look um each, each day as it comes and it's like I look forward to each day you know because you just don't know what's around the corner so it's I, I have this saying now, it's like, don't say no, just do it. Because too many people say no and life's too short. And the crap that we're sort of going through at, at, at the moment, you know, it's just like, don't say no. If, if you're gonna go fishing today, go. You know, if, if, you, if you're just gonna drive into town and have coffee or whatever, meet up with someone and have a couple of beers, do it, don't say no, because you don't know what's gonna happen around the corner and it'll just be too late. So simple little things like that where you go, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, like, you know, one day I'll do it, you know, just, you know, yeah, just do it now. I wanna say something, Frank, that I don't usually say, but you have a beautiful voice, knockout spectacular. Why are you not a national and international star? I mean. Before Wendy and I met, I, I walked into a venue with my guitarist um, and we walked in and we both looked at each other at the same time and just went, bloody hell, who's that? Um, so, yeah, I, I, I agree th that um, Wendy's got one of the, the best voices around. Um, I suppose there's yeah. a lot of people out there, you know, as wonderful as myself. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> What got you to contact me for my dance thing? I mean, my dance film, so old. How did you connect with that? Why does that fit your song? It, it, it looks like a family having so much fun. Um, it's sort of multi-generational. There's, you know, kids and oldies and... Um, it just makes you come alive. It, well, it, it did with us. I'm very complimented that you chose to use my film and that you gave me the chance to talk with you. And maybe, at least my subscribers, will notice 
you guys are great. Great singer, great songs, great guitarist. Um, I'm hoping for that anyway. So, David, thank you. Um, look, we feel the same about you. We've been checking out your stuff and, yeah, wow, it's, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just brilliant stuff. All right, so let's give it a try. We're going to make this video. We're going to put it Absolutely. on YouTube and we're going to see great things happen as a result. Thank you. Fantastic, David. Thank Good you, on you, David. Yeah, I hope that this has been okay. Yeah.